So hey Keith, this is Steve. It's a little loud in here, and uh, this is one of those just for the just for the heck of it things. Why not, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna charge this 4S battery pack uh, off this 100 foot Ethernet cable, right? PoE, <laughs> 48 volts. So what I have is this one of these really cheap. I think it was like five or six dollars on Amazon. So that's a uh, PoE to 12 volt breakout so you'll actually get uh, 12 volts one amp off of this and trying to do this with one hand right geez oh Pete's um, so I'm gonna plug the Ethernet cable into this with one hand barely try to hold my phone it's really hard till you get the click do we have a light we do have a light so this is just a stupid adapter I've had forever so it's coaxial DC to what you call it XT60 try to hold the phone try to keep my face out of the reflection because that's annoying as hell man plug that in and then this into the ISDT I am right-handed trying to do this left-handed Powered up <laughs> and then plug the battery in again this is like I'm wasting more time on this video trying to plug shit in one handed hang on all right batteries plugged in uh, way overexposed Probably should pick a, a reasonable current setting when you only got 15 watts, about 15 watts, I think, available. So, I'll try, like, I think it'll do, I, do, I think it'll do half an amp. Will it? Or not? It's a big fat no. Fine. Let's try point three amps. Here we go. There you have it. So how long, how long is it going to take at point three amps? Probably about three hours or something like that. Two, four hours. The hell. We're charging off of a hundred foot Ethernet cable. So how exciting is that? Not very, but cool.